Hey everyone, this time Shi here. Today, I will be showing you how to do the CPOP method for the 3x3. Many of you may have saw my 3x3 tutorial, which has a couple hundred thousand views. Now we are trying to get faster at this Rubik's Cube and I'll show you the CPOP method, which is center, F2L, which is the first two layer, OLL, which is orient the last layer, and PLL, permute the last layer. Before you get into this, don't forget to like and subscribe you should be able to know how to solve a regular 3x3 Rubik's Cube. If you do not, I will have my beginner's method in the link below. Also, before we get started to the tutorial, if you need any help, I do have a Discord server. I have a specific channel where you can ask for Rubik's Cube help, whether it's beginner's method, CPOP method, Mega Minx 4x4. I'll have that in the description. So you can go to that channel. If you have any questions, please go there and I'll make sure your questions are answered. Without further ado, let's go ahead and scramble this Rubik's Cube. And FYI, this is my GAN 11M Pro. You can head to speedcubeshop.com and use my discount code SIMON. It will really help me out and the channel. And with that being said, let's go ahead and start with step number one. So for a beginner method, you will solve the white cross with the white on top. For a more advanced way, you would solve it on the bottom or maybe sometime towards the side, the right or the left. When you solve it on the bottom, you'll have like an overall look on the other layers because right when you solve the cross, you have to flip your cube over and then perform F2L, which is the first two layers. When looking at this cross, I can see that red will be coming down right here. And then I can also move this to match with this red centerpiece, move this white and green down. And I know this white and orange piece goes right here. So I'm gonna turn the bottom layer here, slide this in and then move it back. So now there's three and there's one more right here. I can do is do this, move that to the side, turn the bottom layer, put this in, bring it back. There are many different ways to do this intuitively. You really want to keep practicing. There's no algorithm for this. You just want to slowly try to connect the pieces for the cross, solving it on the bottom layer. So now we have all these edges matched up with this respective centerpiece. So now it's time for the first two layers. For the first two layers, you would solve the corner piece as well as this F2L piece. So an example, if I want to solve this white, blue, red piece, I would have to match it with this edge piece. So when I do that, I can make an F, I can make a U2 and then get this piece up, put the center piece back down. So this piece is on the top layer. So when I see this piece, go to this bottom layer. All I have to do is go like this. But when I do that in the process, when I turn it this way, it connects to this edge piece. And then I turn it in, and then here is the first F2L slot saw. So you keep doing that. Sometimes you may have a piece that's already in the right position, and you would do the normal beginner's method to insert it like that. So there will be two, and then you have to work on the other two. I will have a link to a PDF in the description. Cube Skills does a really good job with this F2L, OLL, and PLL algorithm. So basically for F2L, you want to connect the corner and the first two layer, the middle layer, and then put them in its correct position. And with practice, look at the algorithm, look at the PDF sheet that I will have. At first, you'll be slower at solving the three by three, but with practice, you'll get the hang of it. In a couple weeks, couple months, you will be much faster. So you won't have to solve the cross, the corner piece, flip the cube over, and then the middle layer. You can do a two and one special with this F2L, which is really good in my opinion. And also if needed, I can make another F2L video to show all the F2Ls and then show all the OLLs and all the PLLs. The third step of the CPOP method, we will orient the yellow layer. So we need to make all this yellow color facing up. I do have a sheet the, by Cube Steel, laminated. So here's all the OLL, there are 57 in total. And I have around 25 more left to memorize. But you don't have to memorize all of these 57 algorithms. What you really need is to memorize the three OLL algorithms. And some of them you may even already know. In this step, you would need to 
get the yellow cross. You have a dot, the backward L, and a line, and you can do the algorithm to get that cross. So now when you have this cross, you can look at the algorithm. So, so in this case, I have, this is a shape. Yellow is right here for this corner, the cross, there's a yellow piece facing this way out, yellow facing here, and yellow facing this way. And then I do this algorithm. So, like that. And that completes the top yellow piece. This is called two-step OLL. You first get the yellow cross, and then you memorize Z7 algorithm on the Cube Skills PDF sheet, which I'll have in the description below. Now we're on our fourth and final step of the CFOP method, the P, which is permute the last layer. So remember, memorize these seven layers, and now I also have a sheet for the PLOs. For this, it is two sides. This may be more tough at first in the beginning, but try to look at different patterns on these PLOs. So in this case, I have a JPERM, but I don't use these algorithm. I learned it a different way, and to solve this, I do that. So it's one algorithm to finish the Rubik's Cube. So basically, if I have a flip edges, corners, I'll look at this and see if it's going clockwise, if it's going counterclockwise, and see which algorithm you like on this PDF file. So in this case, I have a UB permutation, and I would do this algorithm. R2, U, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, U prime, R prime, U, R prime and that would finish that cube. This may be the hardest step because there are more algorithms to memorize. The G permutations are just flipping the edges and the corner pieces, just like these algorithms, but they're combined. So you don't have to really know these four. At first, everything else you have to know, you just need to practice and try to get the hang of it. One of my favorite PLLs is this one, the H perm. So it's just, that it flips these two edges across and these two edges horizontal and like that this will also be in the link in the description so overall for cfop you do the cross try to practice it with the cross facing down once you get the white cross you get these f2l slots the first two layers at the same time when solving the corner and this edge piece and then you Orient the last layer, bring every color of yellow facing up. It doesn't matter what color is out of order. And then you look at this PLL sheet and flip all these pieces and that will be the CFOP method. I also have more F2L, OLL, and PLL type videos in the future, but that's the overall CFOP method. I hope you guys learned a lot and enjoyed this content. Don't forget to press that like button and subscribe. If you need any help with the CFOP method, my Rubik's Cube tutorial, be sure to visit my Discord server down below. We have a specific channel for people wanting Rubik's Cube help. And we have a great group of cubers that will help you solve your Rubik's Cube, solve it in an advanced way, and make sure you are set to go. Link to that will be in the description to my Discord. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later.